Libra, welcome to your reading. Hope this message finds you while you're in good health, good wealth. Hope you're doing something that you love. Today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever the message gets to you. Thank you guys for all the subscribes, donations, and just general support to my channel. It truly means the world to me. If you would like a private reading, want to follow me on social media, or again, donate to the channel. The link will be in the description box below or my about tab. Let's see what Spirit has for you today. We're getting an overall energy for the reading for Libra. Some of you could be experiencing some type of loss at this time, but I feel like you're being guided through that loss in some way, shape, or form, maybe by your spirit guides. What do we have for Libra? Overall energy. Acceptance. Yeah, so maybe learning how to accept just the reality of what things are for you in your life at this time. Let's have karma on the bottom. So I feel like you're reaping what you have sown or you are finally feeling, you know, more in balance in your own flow, more courageous because of a certain ending that has taken place. Radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. Yeah, straight up. I feel like you have, you're starting to like transition or shift into this new reality where balance exists in your world, where you're more courageous or just feeling more confident in the path ahead for you. But with karma, it says there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Interesting. Maybe healing past life karma, just like coming more into balance with your higher self and the version, the person that you've always been as a soul being. But let's see what energy is coming towards you at this time. For Libra, the Wheel of Fortune on the split, definitely. I feel like this acceptance and no matter what you're accepting in your life, right? Whether it's a new version of you or letting something go, setting boundaries with others, stepping into this new flow. I feel like whatever it is you're doing, karma is on your side. You're reaping what you have sown to. And I feel like you're starting to see like the benefits of what this acceptance is for you. What are we have for Libra? What energy is coming towards Libra at this time, Spirit? The Six of Wands. Wow. Success, recognition, praise. I feel like you're no longer having to wait for the blessings to come in. I feel like they're starting to find you, you know, because you've detached from something or someone that wasn't good for you, because you've made up your mind to embrace yourself, your own energy, the vibrancy that exist within you if you just let it right like because you're walking that path you're raising your vibration or you're being seen by others you could be in the spotlight i feel like whatever it is you have a lot of passion for things are finally starting to you're having a clearer vision of who you are in regards to what you have passion for you're starting to see your true potential or you're starting to exist within that potential so there for Libra. What's coming towards Libra? The Empress. I'm not even joking. Libra energy. As well as Taurus. And literally in the spotlight. With, like, your healing. I feel like, oh my goodness. Good job, Libra. Good job. It's feeling like you're starting to heal in a way that really sets you apart from this old version of yourself. You're no longer telling yourself what you want to hear in order to get make it through the day or make it through that chapter like you're telling yourself what you need to hear in order to align yourself with your higher highest vibrational reality and with death in the chariot here it's telling me all of these changes are positive right there's a lot being let go there's a lot being accepted but there's also a lot of reward for that within the self as you're healing but also in your external manifestations so like you could just be attracting a lot of a lot of what you want at this time there seems to be this spotlight on you from the divine like all right libra you made the changes what do you want you know tell the universe what you want because it looks like the universe is in a position where it's ready to grant you those wishes a lot of success yeah we have the chariot i'm not surprised but there's a lot of forward movement too a lot of progress some of you could be moving. These just want to come out so bad. 
and the five of cups in the reverse. You're not like sitting around moping all day anymore. I feel like you have this inspired energy about you or this kind of new aspect or new way of looking at life. It's like you see yourself winning, you see success, you see new opportunities for what they are. You're not grieving what once was, you know? You're just accepting what it was. You're not letting those feelings that come with acceptance, it's like you've gotten over the initial stage of, oh, that sucks. Now it's just like, yeah, that sucks, but what can we do with this new reality? And I feel like you're kind of, you're in a very, it's like you're putting yourself in positions to grow and learn. You're not limiting yourself anymore. You're moving forward successfully, manifesting what you want, being seen by many, shining or this is the energy coming towards you because you're no longer letting what once was affect what is or what could be you know but this looks like authentic healing it's not like you're just trying to ignore it you know it looks like you have done the work to put yourself in this position of i'm ready to move forward i'm ready to conquer my dreams i'm ready to manifest the life that i desire which is beautiful spirit how is libra currently showing up in this world how is Libra perceived by others currently at this time? How is Libra showing up in this world spirit at this time? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, you got determination. You just have success written all over your face. You are in your flow. You're in alignment. You're balanced. Some people might feel as though these connections you used to have as far as even childhood maybe, but just deep rooted connections, like you're using this sword to bring balance into your life. You know, you're doing what you have to do to put you first, even if that means cutting off certain connections that just you could not trust, could have been in a third party, hopefully not situation, but this queen of swords and ace of wands, it's like, you're no longer playing the guessing game with yourself, your future, your energy, you know? You're doing what you need to do for you. You're closing out cycles you're, and that's letting new ones begin. Successful, triumphant new cycles at that with the Six of Wands, the Chariot, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. This is how you're perceived by others though. Some people might feel like you, you're cold, <laughs> like uh, you know, the world. Some people might feel like you have it all together. You have a very clear vision. Yeah, some people feel left behind. Maybe a love connection. Mm -hmm. The nine of wands, and you're very determined to get what you want. So with the ace of swords, the world, five of swords reverse, and the nine of wands, how you're currently perceived by others is somebody that is determined to be successful, and you will do whatever you need to do in order to get that success or like create that vision for yourself bring it into fruition a lot of people feel rejected by you but these are the same type of energies that used to prevent you from being able to obtain the success these are the same type of energies that were trying to make you feel like you were in a competition to embrace their love or their friendship you know or their support a lot of people feel like you're just doing you now. You're really focused on you. Six of Wands, Empress, the Chariot, the Star. You're healing and people see it. And you're being successful because of that. But some people view this success as... I don't know. I just feel like these are... It's like a spiteful energy right there. Yeah, people that feel left out in the cold, you know? Maybe even a soulmate type of connection or a karmic connection. Just a deep something that you once really loved and i feel like they never thought you would move on or progress or like cut them out and start putting you first but people see that you're determined to close out old cycles that do not serve you people see that you're in the energy of acceptance right whether they want you to be or not you are <laughs> all right now we're going to take a look at what energy that you would benefit from focusing on moving forward Spirit, what energy would Libra benefit from focusing on moving forward? A 
collaborate, making new connections, people that will support you and your dreams and your goals, people that will, they have the same mind as you or they see the value in you for who you are, love, creating loving connections, loving on yourself, creating new collaborative connections where the love is mutual or reciprocated. I feel like you're in a place now where you've done enough healing and you're ready for something new and inspire. So, okay, that makes sense. Follow your passions, right? Do the things that you love. Collaborate with others. You don't have to do it all alone because you are in a very like independently successful time period, it looks like. But definitely, you don't have to do it all alone, especially this nine of wands. But remember how much you inspire others, right? How much you caring for yourself and you healing yourself really does help spread the vibration of love in the world. The more people that see you love you, it's going to inspire them to do the same. And I feel like in this way, you're kind of collaborating with the universe, right? You're helping to raise the vibrational frequency of the planet, or you're helping to create more awareness for the ability or like the necessity for us all to love ourselves, right? Or to see the beauty within us. Because it looks like you're going to be in the spotlight in some way, shape or form, or you're going to start being successful in some type of endeavor that just puts eyes on you um, with the Six of Wands, the Empress Chariot and the Star and the Ace of Swords. So it's like, I feel like you're in a new reality where you have some type of inspir, you are some type of inspiration or you're deriving your inspiration from just loving yourself, but definitely don't shy away. Don't hide that, right? Don't hide that fact. Don't hide that. Um, don't be cocky, but help raise awareness of, just be more conscious, consciously aware of how you inspire others, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's what you could benefit from focusing on and joy, making sure that you're happy, right? secret don't do things keep things more low-key these days we also have balance with libra energy um in order to maintain your balance you're gonna have to also understand how you show up in the world when you're showing up in those environments i guess what i meant is like if you're at work keep it work right if you're at home keep it home if you're and you got new deals coming towards you as well just be consciously aware of like your surroundings, right? So that you can maintain that joy. Because when you have certain lives that you live, right? We have a private life, we have a public life, and we have a personal life, right? So like when they start bleeding into each other, it's, it makes joy harder to really feel. So just be aware of that because it looks like if you have this much eyes on you or this much success, or this much newfound sense of like freedom, it's it's gonna be important that you keep it for yourself to a degree, right? Inspire others, help others, but there's a certain there's a certain amount of you time that you need in order to maintain this joy. So don't feel selfish for taking care of you still, even after the fact of you healing, right? Make sure you're doing things that help remind you how much you love yourself right because you're the one that had to walk the journey to even get to this point so you do at the very least you deserve that right <laughs> all right spirit what do you want libra to be aware of at this time seven of wands protect your peace right like i said you're it's this like you versus the world type of energy that keeps popping out and it's not like that literally but it's almost like there's certain people that might want to connect with you that they just don't fit in your puzzle anymore. They, there's a reason that you moved on, you've accepted, you've healed. Although it was disappointing, you knew that it was not bringing you closer to where you want to be. So I feel like as you transition into this version of reality where you want to be at, um, you're going to have to make sure that you maintain those boundaries that you created from that older version of life, right? But I also... Spirit wants you to be aware of jealous people, jealous friends, look, people that you have literally cut off, five of swords reverse, ace of swords upright. They want you to be aware of why you, or remind yourself of why you had to release these people. Three of pentacles reverse, five of cups reverse. 
you did it for a reason, Libra. So just always have that point to come back to so that you can maintain in this very like emotionally connected place within yourself. But Spirit wants you to be aware that there's uh, potentially a new love offer that could be a water sign that might be of interest. Be aware also of how close off you are to love, maybe because you've been a very in a very independent energy. So it's almost like <laughs> you're defending yourself or you're kind of like making it, it's hard for you to let it in. That's only for some. For others of you out there, you're just defending yourself so that you can maintain in your emotional peace, you know, so you can stay successful. But also there's hard work ahead or there's you becoming masterful at something. This could be the same something that's kind of putting you in the spotlight or setting you apart, but you're you're creating a strong foundation for yourself with a lot of financial comfort. Yeah. I feel like you're doing the work to create the vision you want for your life and Spirit wants to remind you that you're doing it, but protect your peace. Keep doing the work, but also know who is deserving and who is just not of your energy and your time. But Libra, this was your reading.